Trevor James. I'm Nathan Charles. We're called Crook, and we're here for here, here, and here. And this is our song called Cry Out. Hi, I'm Nathan Charles. I'm Trevor James. We're Crook, and we're here with Here, Here, and Here. Well, um, with this kind of duo, well, first off, we're brothers. So we've been together forever, working on music in different contexts. Um, we ended up coming to Toronto with another band, and then due to a bit of lack of work with that one, we started following up with just some like folkier, acoustic -y type stuff, just to kind of work on more writing together and getting out to places like you can't play in every bar in Toronto with five people, you know? So we decided to do it with two and it was easier to kind of get around, get into places, and it just kind of grew from there into something that we've been now mostly focusing on. The first band that we've played with, or the first band that we started, I think I was in grade six though, so <laughs> since we were like little kids, we've been playing together. Okay, well it changes a lot, but there's kind of a few different ways that we kind of always fall back on. Um, one way is either myself or Trevor will come up with just a lyric idea, almost like a poem, 
and then we'll hash it out together, work on different words, different phrasing, and then try to put music to it that way. Um, either that, or one of us will come up with an idea, like harmonically for the music, and then try to write, write words that'll kind of fit around that. Even just writing like a chorus or like a verse to a song and then bring it to each other and then we can like hash it out together. Dude, disadvantages? Well, you know, <laughs> family fights sometimes. <laughs> we can throw a couple fists every once in a while. <laughs> but, but that's probably the only disadvantage. It's more, more advantages, I would say. I mean, the fact that we're brothers and we're so close in age and we grew up together, um, just, we have just a good connection when we play. It's, I don't even have to look at him, he just knows where I'm gonna go and I know where he's gonna go from playing for, together for so long too. It's almost not fair. Harmonies are so easy when you're singing with a brother or a family member. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, that's a tough one. Okay, Green, you wanna go first? No, you go ahead. Oh, I'm gonna tell an embarrassing story about you, you know that, right? What? Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm trying to, I'm totally blanking on this. There's too, too many good times. Well, maybe, there's been a lot of good ones when we were little kids, just kind of like, getting stuck different places. I, I when, Nathan, when Nathan was a kid, he used to stand on the bed and there was a wall like really close to it and run full tilt into the wall, like face first into it and fall back onto the bed. <laughs> That's like the biggest thing he used to do when he was a kid. That's probably why he's shorter than me, right? I can tell a embarrassing story about myself more embarrassing than that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think, I think uh, oh, well, growing up, we lived in a small town for one. So everybody knew each other. We all knew everybody. Um, and we decided that we we're gonna go in scouts because that was just kind of one of the things you had to do, right? Just go to scouts, learn to be a camper, survive in the wilderness. <laughs> and I remember one time we were out on this camping trip and it was like the middle of the night and I like had to go to the bathroom so bad but I was totally afraid of all the animals <laughs> running around. And I was like, okay, I'm just gonna go out and go really fast. It's a porta potty, it was like a big, huge camp. So I like, didn't have to go to the bush or anything. And like got out and like I totally got all my pants and everything I was wearing stuck in the zipper and like had to go so bad I was losing my mind I was like this is not good this is not good so like ended up like ripping all my clothes off and like running across this field streaking naked and like ended up getting found by parents <laughs> so that's a pretty good one <laughs> I remember that yeah <laughs> yeah Angry you? um <laughs> I don't know we, we do a lot of embarrassing things even like now but um I don't know what a good one is what do you think well, it's not so embarrassing, but I guess it could be. Trevor used to always sing in this, uh, this vocal quartet. Oh, yeah. Like, I was uh, him and three of our other friends in this, like, barbershop quartet when they were, like, 14 to, like, 16. <laughs> they used to go sing all these different old folks' homes. <laughs> and then one time they showed up at this old folks' home and they forgot what they were going to call themselves. And they ended up getting pretty embarrassed, so they just kind of blanked and said they were, like, four guys and one penis. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that interesting. Telling a bunch of old ladies that. Menu and seeing if there's an actual espresso machine. <laughs> I think when I walk into a coffee shop, the first thing I look for to see is there's like a little jam area. Because lots of coffee shops have like a little, I don't know, afternoon jams and stuff like that. And then the coffee, of course. So we like coffee. Today. Tomorrow. Snow. <laughs> All right. Dragon. Uh, 88. <laughs> Fire. Polaroid. Picture. Camera. Superhero. Flash. Superman. <laughs> Chihuahua. Small. Dog. <laughs> Not a dog. <laughs> yeah.